Greetings, salutations, one and all, welcome to another week of Olympus Rises, Season 2, Episode 11. I'm glad you all could be here today. Let me move the microphone a bit closer to myself. There we go. Perfect. Awesome. So yes, glad you all could be here today. Uh, we left last week on kind of a uh, climactic note with Gogo chasing the uh, the leader of the assailants throughout the facility. Uh, and two of them captured and a couple of them dead and or dying so uh as you can see everybody has arrived which is great news and uh we'll go ahead and uh be getting right into it here in just a moment so without further ado <laughs> hello jordan hello matt and everyone else hello Hello. Glad you all could be here. Okay. On time too. In fact, everyone is on time. It's fantastic. It's a maze balls. Uh well, since you are on time, Devin, why don't you tell us how your week has been? My week has been good. Yeah, I'd say good. Relaxing, not super hectic or crazy or anything. Not a whole lot really has happened, so it's just been a good week. Fantastic. Good to hear. Yeah. Uh, Will, hello. Hello. How have you been? Tell us all about it. I've been alright. Uh, we had an awesome game on Friday. Uh, those that don't watch Siege. Indeed. Indeed. I feel as though we did, yeah. Uh, for those missing the, missing the point, uh, it was the finale of that particular arc. So ah. no no spoilers please I wasn't able to catch it live. Uh okay fine no spoiler uh for you but it was good it was a really good um ending. So endings are usually like one of the hardest parts. So I'm glad it worked out all right and ran on time even. Yeah. Which nice. It's very good. Um uh this week um yeah, not much else. I mean, it is the Masters final tonight, which is the thing. Is that tennis? Snooker. <laughs> Wait, it's what? Snooker. Oh, God. What the fuck is that? Like anyone know what he's talking about? He's trying to communicate, but I don't know. <laughs> I'd love to what say I understand you the words you are saying, but I don't. Do you know pool? Yes. yes. Snooker. Is that what you're Snooker. saying? Oh, is that the word you're saying? Oh, okay. Snooker. Snooker. <laughs> what was wrong with what I said? <laughs> well, I think most of it we were missing an S. Because all that I kept hearing was nooker. Nuka. And I'm like, that sounds like a fruit, <laughs> not a game. Nuka. <laughs> yeah, we. I keep missing the S in that. Or like <laughs> the O sound at all. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> uh, so, Will, I, you're watching some snooker. <laughs> I hate you all. Thanks, guys. Well, oh, we're just trying to understand you. <laughs> We love you. Uh, that was pretty good. That was a good one. I like that one. Um, okay, fantastic. Uh, okay, cool. So the the Masters Grand Final of Snooker is on tonight. That's exciting. Yes. Is that is it's, that it's a... like if you take a fairly uncommon sport and then you gently pronounce it differently than we're used to hearing it's really stacking the odds against <laughs> us that we're gonna get whatever the hell you're i mean i at least thought that you would have uh at no. least modest understanding i know exactly what snooker is it's yeah, yeah, snooker absolutely. it's not snooker it's snooker it's two o's not a u ah <sighs> but how do you say door you don't yeah. say doer can, hey, can you can you pronounce the word look for me? 
Uh, Wheels are real, you. Luca. <laughs> <laughs> Can you pronounce the word uh, moo as in a cow moos? Okay, guys, stop. Just stop. Leave him alone. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Leave him alone. Uh, okay, that was really good. Thank you, Will. Well, for that. thanks for this game, guys. I think I'm just going to head have an early night. So well, you can't see. do that. You haven't died yet. Yeah, I was going to say, Dr. Fisher's not even dead yet, <laughs> so you'll have to wait, I guess. I mean, I'm almost dead every single games so everyone is it stars without number everyone is a hair's breadth from passing away cool uh megan hello hello hi uh my week's been good admittedly i cannot say that i have ever heard nor said that particular word more than this moment in my life <laughs> um so there's that i guess um uh what else did I do this week? I don't know. Um I finished a pretty sweet cross stitch this week, so that was fun. Mm -hmm. Pictures or it didn't happen. Uh okay. I mean I can do that. Um I've been playing the most recent iteration of the Rusty Lake series, which is super fun. Almost done with it. Um and yeah, Siege was awesome last night. Um happy with how it ended obviously Last night. spoilers i won't spoil it but yeah so there you go friday night she meant, excuse me she meant two nights ago yeah friday night but yeah there you go fantastic uh matt hello hello tell us about your week how's it been more of the same man okay is your work work is work, your work, work fire getting bigger my fire uh it is building steadily in intensity yes good are, are you at the blue uh, flames now or is it like white flames <laughs> we're getting so like it's a half step before you have like the really hot coals that are great for roasting marshmallows by got it i mean but <gasps> what if you want to light your marshmallows on fire Sorry, but that's amazing. Megan. Yeah, that's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it is very good. It is, yes. <laughs> yes. It is extremely, uh, extremely good, even. Oh, Will's gone. Okay, goodbye, Will. He uh, really was done. He really Off was to done. watch Snooka. <laughs> what? Oh, he's back. Hey! Hey, sorry. How was your Snooka you. final? <laughs> uh, Discord just updated for me. So. Oh, okay. Well, at least it lets you back in and didn't, you know, lock up your whole computer and then decide to run a Windows 10 update for fun. Yeah, so worst things could have happened. Absolutely worst things could have happened. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm okay. Just not a, not a lot to... <laughs> not a lot to write home about right now. Cool, cool. Um, well, I, Jordan, you got 24 minutes to fill, so. <laughs> I mean, I, could, I, I mean, could go on. So, like, could, so, like, so hold on. First of all, do you doubt me? Um, I Yeah, I, I basically talk for a living, so I could definitely fill 24 minutes if I wanted to. Uh, but I don't think anyone wants to hear that. So, um, I will say that uh, my week has been busy. Uh, I have put in some long hours at work uh, recently, so it's been preventing me from doing basically anything else. Uh, I have watched a lot of Vikings. Um, I'm almost done, or I, I'm a couple episodes into the fourth season, which is the final season that is currently available. Um, so it's, it's really good though, like if you like that kind of stuff. Uh, it's also done by the History Channel, which is interesting to me because it really makes me think that they probably did a fair bit of research before they did a lot of things. So it's kind of cool to see, even though it very clearly has like, you know, uh, things that are not possible in it. It deals a lot with the religions of the different era or of that era, uh, Christianity and Catholicism and obviously the, like the Norse gods and all the other fun stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, no, it's really good. It's cool to see, 
they do a really good job explaining like kind of how the how it all works and how it all happened which is very interesting to me so uh strongly suggest if you like kind of gritty adult medieval fantasy um genres or shows it's very very good also the main character um is man he's really good he's really good at what he does i would i would watch him in other things for sure because he, he plays like there's moments where he's kind of like he's kind of like the joker where he's got like these weird little ticks that you that you notice like when he's talking to people and when he's saying things um also his name is ragnar so i mean that's also badass um but yeah i definitely have some some really good moments and it's I, I will say this about the show because I find this in a lot of other shows and this one doesn't really have it is there there are very few if any poorly done scenes uh it's it's very much every scene is impactful for some reason there's not a whole lot of like frivolity with what they show and what they do and every scene makes a difference because I kind of hate when shows have a lot of like filler stuff, you know, like the traditional car rides in cop shows, right? Or, you know, the stakeout scenes in cop shows or uh, what's another good example? Like the, the scenes Any that... episodes of Naruto. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. Wow. Um, <laughs> no, or like like a like a bar Horribly scene. Horribly right? untrue. Horribly untrue. Yeah, like a like a James Bond bar scene, right? Where like you know what's gonna happen because he's in a bar. Like it's just yeah, you already know. You don't need to show it a hundred times. Um, no, every, every scene, at least in my viewing, uh, has been impactful and mattered, and so it's pretty cool. Um, it also goes a bit into like how Britain was divided up between you know the three major countries at the time northumbria wessex and mercia so uh, it's pretty cool to see kind of that you know the the more traditional medieval stuff thrown in with the the viking northman stuff um and then also it talks in in the later seasons it talks about the franks and how west francia like came to power and the kind of things that they did Etc. It's really good. It's got it's got good historical elements, which, like I said, is one of the reasons why I kind of liked it because it's made by the History Channel. So there you go. Uh, so that's basically been my life lately: is work, come home, and watch some Viking, and go to sleep, and then do it all over. Again. Pretty great. However, uh. There's also there's also this game we need to play and this scene we perhaps need to finish up mm. that includes uh probably a chase scene and an interrogation uh aspect as well. So last time on Olympus da, 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 da. Thank you. Yes. Wow. Stepping up to the plate. <laughs> Good uh, job, Will. Good job. So the the four of you had um, completed a few things. Get experience for that. Uh, <laughs> you can have one experience. What XP? Will. Yeah. Oh, yes. That <laughs> could make the difference. <laughs> um, how embarrassed would you be if I actually only needed one XP to learn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, be pretty. Be pretty good, actually. So the four of you encountered, um, you, you dealt with a lot of like recap stuff. Like you, you had a lot of goals that you had to accomplish and things that you had to talk through. And we dealt with the, uh, well, perhaps not dealt with, but the, the reveal of the um, separatist Buddhists came into play. Uh, apparently Dr. Fisher has been working for them on kind of a freelance mission uh, for kind of whatever they need because, you know, science costs money and in addition to that we also had the 
we had the delivery of Amelia and Neko to her father, or at least her father's men, who appeared to show up. And uh, as they were there, they were questioned by our very own Oscar. Um, and apparently Oscar asked one too many questions because then they were instructed to kill uh, the crew and get away. That obviously didn't work out so well because you all are badasses. Um, and cyborgs don't have shit on big swords. Right, exactly. So uh, there was some chopping and scantily some sh- clad doctors with laser rifles. Correct. Um, is that a Twitch thing? Are you certain of it? Yeah. Um, I don't know why it would be a me thing because. I don't know. I'm not doing anything. But it sounds Haley, just uh, like that when that happens. Okay. Yeah, Haley said she was trying to listen to the stream, and it was like just popping. Uh, but okay. Over Discord, it sounds fine. So it seems to be a stream specific thing. Hmm. Hmm. Well, uh, let me know if it continues. I yeah. did drop some frames, so it's possible like that was part of the issue, but. Uh, and over sure but anyway so the resolution of that was after killing the cyborgs and a couple of the goons the uh the leader appears to have leaped out of the the spaceship and is now running through the spaceport and you know there's a whole chase scene where go goes in pursuit um but two of the goons had surrendered themselves because they didn't want to die why would they want to die they're nobodies uh and that's kind of where we left off but i do need to ask about goals as gogo so aptly reminded us um did anyone complete any goals last session no sir i i got a hacker to hack (laughs) (laughs) uh true you did do that i actually had forgotten that happened um yeah so you did get a hacker (laughs) to get you the information on the doctor to get her personal email address, right? That was among the, other things. Yeah, that was the goal, right? Her personal email address, among other things, such as some personal data that probably she didn't want out there as much. Um, and so with that, that was uh, that was just the the last session goal, right? Um, I think you can get a solid hundred and fifty for that. Kidoki. Anyone else? No, I, I pretty much cleared my sheet she last session. Back. Welcome back. Did you complete any goals, Fortune? Let's see. I don't think I... Well, that may be a lie. <laughs> the suspense Sorry, I, I had is killing it, me. I had to pull it. <laughs> uh... Yes, I did. Yes, you did. That first one, right? I sure did. Yeah, so uh, the start of contract with Westwind for laser rifles. Now, you and I didn't really hammer out the details uh, of that, but it is going to consist of, obviously, monetary payment in addition to perhaps some other perks and benefits um, that may come along with it. Cool. Now, to start off, obviously, you know, you're, you're a single provider, uh so they'll buy what you have um but i guess my question with that would be and obviously you completed it but my question with that would be would you sell them the patent essentially or would you want to oversee like construction and manufacturing i'd like to do the the thing where i I keep my patent and i produce the rifles whether that means one at a time which i don't think western's going to go for or they provide me with the capabilities to do more than one at a time cool yeah so you want to i I think that that would be acceptable um they'll buy the ones you have and then there will probably have to be like further setup right to get you facilities to do what you need to do um right and westwind being a business first they totally understand the need for patent protection right so they're not going to to you know, try and push that. If that's what you say you want to do, then they're totally cool with that. So how many laser rifles did you, did you end up giving to them to start off with? 
I think I gave them one they were holding on to, and then I had completed four more, but I want to keep two on the ship because one of them is Bruno's and the other one um, Gogo, or yeah, Gogo has. So three total is what you want to to yeah. pass over to them. Okay, cool. Um, so obviously they're not going to buy it at retail, they'll buy it at wholesale, but since they're more valuable than your regular laser rifle, I think that essentially you can get 300 credits per laser rifle that you give to them. Sweet. Basically the cost of, you could replace it with a regular laser rifle now. Yeah. Um, which, which means that you know, it'll be hard to make money per se, but if you find, if you negotiate price to buy like bulk laser rifles to then convert them, that would be where you make your money, right? Absolutely. You invest in, you know, a crate of laser rifles being, you know, maybe 50 Whole, or so. Wholesale parts. Yeah. Being like 50, you know, crate a crate of laser rifles, probably like 50 laser rifles. You could probably negotiate the price down for buying in bulk, and then as you make them, then you'll make return on each one of those. Sounds good. Cool. So, and so um, I'm just gonna say I break even buying three more on the way back to the ship. Okay. Yeah. To to start off, that's totally fine. Um, and totally acceptable. Uh, so, however, for the contract which you had for ten sessions, it appears. Uh, you will gain a hefty amount of experience, I would say. Probably, let me do some math. I think you can get a solid 400 experience for that. Nice. Anyone else? Dr. Mm -hmm. Fisher, Oscar? Nothing here. Okay, cool. So uh, I cleared three off last time, so I'm pretty much a blank slate right now. <laughs> yeah, so so again, as always with goals, make sure that you are looking for opportunities to place them because that's how you gain your experience in addition to staying alive, basically. Um, hmm. And I think that we, we jump into the scene now. Uh, I've removed the turn order because I don't think it matters right now. I think that what matters is um what like you're going to do in the immediate aftermath of this how you're going to secure the situation and then we'll kind of go into a more narrative what the hell's going on um as i described it gogo is pursuing the the leader through the the sh streets quote unquote through the the corridors of the station that you guys are on and oscar you're standing in front of these two individuals i know you expressed that maybe you want to go help gogo which is totally a thing you can do um and if you choose to do that, you'll probably need to uh, have a little setup there. So I guess I'll start with you. Yeah. Um, you know, you, you probably, you see Gogo dash like away, right? Down the ramp and then dash away. And these two individuals have like dropped their weapons and like have their hands up in front of you. Uh, and Fortune, would you be like approaching from behind? Yeah, probably. Yeah, and Dr. Fisher, you're standing up on the... Uh, up on the catwalk, right? Like, peering down at them. Yeah, I've literally just done the skids in socks, fire a few rounds, and <laughs> yeah, ran absolutely. back around the corner. Yep, yep, I remember that very distinctly. Uh, after waiting in the elevator with the elevator music for the doors to open. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> um, so, so there's two survivors left, right? Yep, there are two of the grunts that are have surrendered to you at this point. Stellar. Um, so yeah, I, th I think you know it probably like steps over the pieces of the androids or cyborgs or whatever we want to call them. I think and, either uh, is appropriate. Yeah, it's the the individuals modified or created for said purpose. Uh, uh, droids. Yeah, he <laughs> he he kind of like jumps over those and walks up to the two that have surrendered and he says um uh he he says you two congratulations on being the smarter ones in the party i will be back and he he points like he he gestures you know behind them as fortune is you know walking up with the you know presumably rifle 
at the ready. He says, Fortune, can you you watch them a moment? No problem. Thank you. And he just like pops off the ship to go chase, you know, take, take pursuit after the individual that had fled. Yeah. So probably as you pop out, you see, um, you see Gogo's hair probably like disappearing into the crowd, right? That is gathered around like on the outside. Um, you can see there's disturbances, but maybe it's people moving and milling about trying to figure out what's going on. Cause you guys are in a, you're like on the space dock, right? Like you're in the spaceport, um, of Sorn. And so there's like a bunch of people like milling about and it's, it's, you know, pretty overcrowded here nowadays. Uh, and so you see Gogo's hair like disappear into the crowd, uh, and you begin to take up pursuit to find her, but back on the ship, um, fortune, you, you walk up behind the two individuals and they, they've turned to face you at this point. Uh, Dr. Fisher, what are you doing? Yeah, I've got my gun pointed at them as I slowly walk towards them as well. All right, yeah, so you, you come down the ladder and you have your gun pointed, and so you guys are on either side of them now. Uh, yeah. What do you do? Um, I would like to do a good pat down. I'd have them lay on their stomach and pat down their entire bodies and see if they have any extra weapons first. Sure, yeah. So once once Dr. Fisher gets in place, you you know you swing your your rifle back behind your back and you know you give him the frisk uh why don't you roll me a um i guess it's perception here with wisdom seems the most appropriate could i argue agility because i'm using my hands dexterity Uh, or dexterity yeah um i i don't think that that would help you find things. fortunes frisky fingers yeah (laughs) like it may help you touch them better but i think (laughs) identifying the fact that they have something in the places that you are touching them is wisdom well that's a good roll okay yeah so uh (laughs) yeah bad touch um so yeah you give them you give them the pat down no (laughs) weapons fall out you don't feel any unusual lumps in any of you know you give them the the cop pat down where you you know, the sides of the front and the back, and then you slide down the legs to make sure there's nothing there. Um, and then you instruct them to lie on their stomachs, right? Yep. Yeah, so they do. They lie on their stomachs. Their hands are outstretched in front of them. Um, their toes pointed towards the uh, towards the ramp. Cool. I'd be like, so uh, who were those other two? I would not like to call them humans. Um, I think... They, they kind of like they do that thing where they kind of like look at each other out of the corner of their eyes as they're lying next to each other and uh one of them speaks up he goes ah, hey those those are the bosses well they're the boss's henchmen and the boss is <laughs> uh roll me another perception check with wisdom better there you go yeah so you can tell like they look at each other and you can see that they're afraid um in this in this moment when you're uh when you're asking them who the boss is um Uh, look i'm i'm not here to start fights i'm just trying to get information information is important to me so if you could just help me out with that yeah so uh as they they kind of look back at each other and they go well, you know, funny, funny story. You're, you're not with West Wind, right? Not solely West Wind, no. Good. Well, then perhaps it would be safer to tell you. We, um, we work with, with the Syndicate. Huh. All right. So, that that didn't answer my question of who your boss is, though. So. Uh, well, we report to Captain Mulcar. Hmm. As and as do they, and he, they kind of like motion. All right, hold. On, I gotta get to my notes, Sonar. Uh, which syndicate would they be insinuating? On. I'm pretty sure it's Kuchera. 
the capital <laughs> I mean, do you ask them? Yeah, I'd be like, well, probably not. Fortune wouldn't. He would just. But that, I'm asking Fisher, like, when you express that out of game, did you actually <laughs> ask that in game, though? <laughs> no, I think I'm leaving the majority. I'm not good at interrogations. So oh, okay. I'm leaving it entirely to Fortune. It's not a hidden talent of Dr. Phil, <laughs> interrogator. I mean, if you want to interrogate by death by a thousand cuts, then perhaps I could help you with that. Just find me an icicle. I mean, that's pretty exactly. amazing. <laughs> Not gonna lie. We, he still has the icicle, doesn't he? That's, yeah, that's it's can. in the freezer, yeah. I do. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Wait, that wasn't one of the objects the monks wanted? <laughs> <laughs> the holy and great mighty icicle. <laughs> I mean, it is basically a legendary weapon at this point. Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. The holy relic at this point. And, um, and then I'd ask him, um, I like, and Captain Molkar wanted you to pick up our goods, this cargo? Well, uh, uh, you see, uh, we're, we're kind of sent here to, well, intercept the package, as it were. Oh, all right. What's in there anyway? So important. I mean, hell if I know. I'm I'm just a deliverer of goods. Then then, then we are of like kind. All right. Well, we're gonna wait till the other guy comes back. Uh, so just hang out here. Um, I'll be right here. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Or didn't care in the first place, yes. Agreed. Um, so, Dr. Fisher, do you do you say or do anything during this whole process? Um, I give very quizzical looks, and Fortune probably uh, sees just how kind of uh, confused I am, but yeah, I kind of just... Well, she holds my gun towards him. <laughs> if if you if you really are that quizzical, like, do you have any questions? Uh, uh no, they obviously told us everything, right? Uh, <laughs> I'd look at back the other. Two. You have to for, forgive my friend there. He's he's new at interrogating people. He just likes to shoot things. <laughs> as long as they're not us. Well, I mean, he doesn't really care what they are. He just likes to shoot things. Yeah, and I think you see one of them gulp. <laughs> More quizzical looks from from Fisher, I know. Yes. <laughs> Fisher's like, I've never shot a thing in my life. Uh... That's not... He <laughs> wasted one of them last session. <laughs> So, uh, I, perhaps that's a that's an appropriate time to jump back outside. Uh, so, go go. We're in we're in a chase scene here, and uh, there's a couple different ways to go about it. I think that uh, perhaps some contested skill rolls uh, to see how how far or if any distance is put in between the two of you. Uh, so, first things first. I think that as you as you begin to sprint after him, he ducks into the crowd. Um, and he's limping too because you hit him in the leg, so he's going to get some some negative modifiers to this. Um, so I think that the first one, the first skill check, is going to be uh, probably advantageous for you. But can you roll me an athletics with dexterity check to begin your weaving your way through the crowd? Does she get a bonus for being a little bundle of fury? <laughs> I'm so tiny. I'm nimble. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, unfortunately, no. Okay. Meh. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah. So he does. He does kind of vanish into the crowd um, uh, a little bit, but you still you still know you're not that far behind him, right? It's it's only a difference of one there. So you lose sight of him. 
uh, because he's, you know, just there's people barring your way. So as you're trying to to catch up with him as you're you're running along, um, what what kind of like what kind of tactic are you going to take here? Are you going to continue to kind of like pile your way through the crowd? Uh, do you think you want to like, you know, you could like fire the gun in the air and make the seize part? But I don't know if that would be a good idea. <laughs> uh, Fortune right now holds a lot of sway in West Wind, but I don't think anybody else knows that. I mean, Gogo likes to go loud, but I don't think that's good in this particular scenario. Um, one thing Gogo does do, though, I think is um, she like hits her integrated comm on her arm like yeah. as quickly as she can, just so it's like completely open comms, and the entire time, like if she's taking a right or a left or like any directional, sure. she's trying to give yeah. it to Oscar to help him guide him at least to where she is, so that he can help. Because sure, that yeah. would have been her first thing, like. I can track them, but like I don't know. Like my best course of action is is to have yeah, Oscar. Yeah, absolutely, so. absolutely. Um, so Oscar, you you appear outside of the ship, and this crowd of onlookers is trying to figure out what happened. Um, can you roll me a perception check, please? With wisdom. Oh God, where did my character sheet go? Traditionally, it's in the same spot it's always been in. I I changed it so that it pops out, and I just lost it in a bunch of windows. Yeah, too many open tabs, windows stuff. Okay, yeah. So so as you're as you like gaze around, um, there are a lot of people that have been gathering in this crowd that now look at you and they're like pointing towards you and whispering to each other, and you see that there's some stricken faces um that have uh that have kind of popped up uh and as you begin to like approach the crowd they seem to part for you and get out of your way Um, Mm -hmm. they seem to be Um, quite afraid of you you're a magic man (laughs) it's a it's a not one of the better features of this particular station but yes uh can can you just describe exactly like what the surroundings are like here sure are there they're like shops and little buildings and stuff yeah so you're you're you guys are kind of at the edge of the spaceport has like ramps that lead onto the main floor of the spaceport and that's where you are now so there's a couple there's like uh it's it's a big hangar area that has a bunch of like mechanical stuff that's up above uh and there's a bunch of other ramps that lead down into this hub so it's kind of like a dumping area for everybody coming off of ships or going onto ships or loading materials and stuff like that yeah there's probably quite a few people that have like carts and stuff that are um you know that are laid about uh and then it branches off in probably two distinctly larger corridors where as soon as it gets into the larger corridor or hallway you can see yeah there's totally like little shops um there's you know bustle of people going up and up and down them um you okay. see that there's a lot of you know neon holographic signs that are all giving directions and pointing people in different areas but um you know if you had to like take a quick head count there's probably maybe 100 people on the floor right now that are you know maybe half of those are have heard there's some commotion and are on looking and then the other half are just continuing about their business okay so oscar is gonna take to the high ground he's gonna try and basically get up on top of the buildings and you know both uh blink around and yeah you know run to try and at, you know if not necessarily see the guy that he's after directly make sure that he doesn't lose gogo sure yeah so um there's no like you know. bu- buildings are all built into the station right but there's like crane equipment and stuff and like you know big metal uh, tracks that the cranes run across so yeah you can totally like get up there on the catwalk if you want oh, to oh okay see and... yeah that's what that's why i was asking like yeah. i was wondering if they were like little hole in the wall shops or if they were actually big structures no so like since you're since you're on a space station nothing is like built on top of it like inside of the space station right so it's it's all like little cutaways from the actual metal walls and stuff uh but in the hangar where you are there are like loading equipment and stuff to to load stuff so well in in that event 
then he's going to just do his best to like, you know, as he's moving forward, try to uh, get up on top of whatever he's able to, to keep a vantage. Yeah, no, yeah, you can absolutely like, there's, in fact, it's easier to blink up onto like the, the crane equipment and stuff that's up there. So yeah, you can have a rather than just charge through the crowd. Right. Yeah, exactly. So, so you wink out of existence and then you, you end up on top of the crane. Um, and so now you're going to use your perception skills, I assume, to try and locate either, um, either Gogo or the assailant, right? Yeah, I mean, ideally, the guy that ran, if not, right. then, you know, don't lose Gogo. Sure, yeah, absolutely. Uh, why don't you roll me a perception of wisdom check? I think on a basic success, on a six or higher, you could identify Gogo. Her green hair stands out pretty well. Um, and then I'll roll contested uh, against the stealth check. Oh, that's pretty no, good. No, I got him. Laser focus. <laughs> <laughs> you, you barely Damn, got that him. That was pretty high. Yeah. Wow. yeah, you barely got him, but you did. Yeah, so so you see. In fact, you guys rolled exactly the same. Um, you just had a higher bonus. Uh, so yeah, so you get up there and you look around and you see Gogo, uh, pursuing, and you see the guy is broken off and taken a left, um, and is kind of running along the edge of the crowd, uh, or limping along the edge of the crowd, and he's going in. So if there's a right hand tunnel and there's a left hand tunnel, he's going in the left hand tunnel. And Gogo is headed towards the right-hand tunnel, so you can like, you know, send down a message to Gogo. Okay, so you you said he's going right, she's going left, or he, vice versa. He's so so. Imagine that the crowd has made a ring around your ramp. Gogo's mm -hmm. in the middle of the ring, and the guy has just burst out the other side of the ring and is heading toward the left exit. And Gogo, okay. on her current trajectory, is heading towards the right exit. Yeah, yeah, he. Uh gets on gets on comms and says uh go go he's he's bearing left stay with him cool so go go you can you can essentially be like on him again right um so your next step here you you know kind of the direction he's headed you you can see even though there's people surrounding you you can see the big long tunnels that have all the shops and stuff the one that you're headed towards and then the one to the left um so do you want to try and use like physicality to get over there how do you want to try and chase him down now do i see a cart that i could hop on it's probably you know, like, <laughs> you know those like a little um and i don't know how big the station is to have these but like in star wars they have those little like carts that you can like ride around especially in areas where like deliveries are being made yeah there no, are any mobility scooters. there's probably like a <laughs> so can i like there's probably like a those things. <laughs> there's probably a grab forklift nearby yeah absolutely hell yeah give me my forklift back <laughs> <laughs> weapon. cool yeah so, so gogo like so gogo like busts out of the side of the crowd that he just did looks left down the corridor sees him probably like already a relative distance from her yeah. and realizes that she's so tiny she can't just like elbow her way through like he is mm -hmm. so she needs people to like get out of the way <laughs> cool so yeah and then like the 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 crowd parts the exact moment and you see the the light beams down upon the grab forklift parked you know it, it probably just made a delivery and the operator is probably like helping load a crate onto a dolly to bring up a ramp yeah, she just, like, runs, hops, like, parkours into the front seat. She's like, I need this. I'll be back. <laughs> just, like, freaking guns it towards him. Yeah, so you turn on the front lights and the little the little blinking light on top to indicate, you know, there's uh, a vehicle in motion. And then you just run it directly towards him. Uh, why don't yep. you make mm -hmm. me a uh, uh, vehicle grab check with dexterity? It's a small enough vehicle. This is a dexterity thing. Um, and I'm going to make his athletics check. Uh, to try and evade you, but uh, he's going to get an even bigger detriment here uh, because, you know. Uh, he's probably scared to death running from a forklift. <laughs> <laughs> he still rolls Shit. a 10, though. Ooh. Oh, no. Um, wait. I think I want to yeah, invoke. That I'm going to. Wait. I think I want to invoke my uh, my lovely profession here. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and use one of my driver rerolls. Absolutely. 100%. Go for it. Big money. 
<laughs> so yeah you um so what happens is uh even though you're driving the forklift people are distracted they don't expect a forklift to be coming at high speeds directly towards them so like you have to slam on the brakes a couple times and you can see he actually makes it into like the tunnel area and you can continue chasing him but it's more crowded in here uh because the walls obviously close in a little bit so uh because you only missed it by one you can still see him and you're still in pursuit but you can't catch him this round um now you can still be driving the forklift or you can like park it in the tunnel that's totally up to you um in a moment and oscar as you're as you're getting the bird's eye view of this um you obviously could blink down and take pursuit as well uh in a moment but you also see that there are uh, there's a stream of like uh of of security like westwind security that are coming out of the right hand tunnel and they're like they're running over and parting the ways towards um towards your area right where where the commotion is going on and a couple of them probably see gogo like careening uh -huh. across the floor and so i think they like split up and go two different ways so now gogo is chasing the guy and being chased by a couple of these security agents that are trying to you know stop her from being reckless and then the other there's probably like three there's probably like a squad of three and then three more are heading towards the ship what do you do toward oscar our, toward our ship yeah uh i comes why would they be headed to our toward our ship because that's where all the commotion just happened uh, right? they got like they got like an alert that there's weapons discharged in the in the docking area uh, I give the crew back at the ship a heads up. I get on comms, uh, and I say, uh, a everyone, three security headed back to ship. Be cooperative, but don't let them take our prisoners. Okay. Oh, I've got this plan. It's going to be perfect. Good. <laughs> So it feels just like wait what? <laughs> oh gods! Do you even have your <laughs> your 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 compad, Doctor Fisher? Actually, probably not because this was just I was just yeah. You just like ran my... out of the lab. Why would you grab it, right? Yeah, I only managed to grab my gun on the way out, and that was about it. Yep. So yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. I'm still just holding the gun at the prisoners' heads. And yeah. That's about it. <laughs> cool so uh oscar what are you gonna do with your with your turn he's he's too far right now because you're up high to like blink right on top of him but you could like blink to where gogo is basically and give chase with her if you wanted to or you could go back to the ship it's up to you whatever you want to do or you could go somewhere else completely yeah, or you could blink people... outside into space if you wanted to i'll get him out <laughs> peace i'm gone <laughs> Uh, shit. So there's there's two people. How many people are following Gogo -Go directly? There's two squads of three. Okay. Too many. <laughs> uh, is there anything? <sighs> I'm I'm tempted to try and create a distraction. However, I don't want to punch a hole in the station and kill everyone. That would be bad. So. <laughs> How far away are the security individuals from me presently? I mean, they're probably, like, almost directly below you. Uh, I am going to try and trip them up, I think. Okay. You're gonna... I feel like... Complex I feel like go -Go, Yeah, so... You know the rationale is Gogo. I'm I'm betting on her having this guy for at least a turn or two, and she's in a damn forklift now. So I'm pretty sure I could catch up with her. <laughs> she's pretty conspicuous, but I also want to keep these guys kind of off the trail a touch. So yeah, I'm gonna just try and like cool. yank the feet out of under one of the guys and hopefully cause a distraction sure yeah and obviously you're aiming at the first guy because on a terrific failure perhaps 
he takes his friends down with him. Oh right? yeah. No, I, I want like the full on three stooges like pile of yeah. bodies. No, yeah. ab absolutely. Uh so just a mental effect save for him. Let's see what it is. Damn! Oh my god. No, yeah, like with these rules tonight. Yeah, so so wow. you oh, you shit. complex manipulate, quote unquote. Yeah. Uh and just with all the other people, you probably see like a dude carrying a box gets tripped up and you just bit like it's just off completely. Like you weren't focused enough or close enough or something happened or maybe you gra like you you felt your mind grab onto something, but it was actually like the cart he was using, not somebody's legs. Yeah. Um yeah, and or they, like they just these guys are already in, you know, dodge and weave mode and it was totally not, you know, right. a phase for him. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well uh in that event, I think I'm probably could I safely drop down from wherever I am and You're in an exosuit, I'm sure it would be case. I'm sure it'd be no problem. Um <laughs> it, yeah, you All might right. you might have to yell and tell people to get out of the way so that you don't land on them but yeah you can yeah. totally you can totally super, super superhero land directly below sure. you if you want i do the the three point superhero yeah drop yeah like, absolutely hopefully don't land on anybody yeah the crunch of the metal suit impacting the metal floor you can see you've probably left a couple of scuff marks um on the on the floor maybe a small indentation from where you landed uh and roll a luck save for me. Uh, is this... So, on the way down, I want to, like, yell, right, to get out of the way. Sure, yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, okay. Boy. So, um, somehow, the the guards that are pursuing Gogo -Go don't don't realize this, and they continue their pursuit of Gogo. -Go. Darn. <laughs> Yeah. Maybe with everything else going on, they're just too distracted. Yeah, sure. They're, they're chasing a lady racing a forklift. Also, yeah. can we remember how I'm dressed? <laughs> yeah. She's because also dressed like punk rock, Kogo. Punk rock bar. Oh, right. Recall? Hipster, hipster <laughs> filth, cyberpunk get up. Yep. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Yeah. Her tattoo's <laughs> just out, right? Like you, you like it's oh, just. Oh, one hundred percent. I don't have just glowing. on what I'm wearing. I have like yeah. So Sweet. you're just out doing site anarchy. Yeah. That's what I look like. Man. Yeah, it's probably. Oh, no, that's what you're probably also like, doing. Oh, frick, another one of these. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so I'll, I'll go back to to Gogo -Go real quickly. Um, how do you want to continue pursuit? Do you want to keep trying to run him down with the forklift? I think I'm gonna try one more round of the forklift. Forklift. If yeah. It, so you. Know, if the, it doesn't work, this next time I'll I'll ditch it. But. We get the we get the camera shot from down the corridor, and we see him like limping along, like pushing people out of the way, and he gets a little bit of ways down the down the corridor, and then like we can see the ramp that leads up to the the corridor, and we see people like going down, and then all of a sudden we see some guy like dive off the ramp as this this grab forklift just like skids around the corner and flies up the ramp and people are like diving out of the way um why don't you roll me a vehicle grab with with dex again oh my god this is like the Make lowest please. i can roll holy crap you have seven minutes you could use yeah, your it's seven your roll. Uh, oh yeah because i forgot that my other one wasn't my actual reroll Oh, <laughs> but you don't oh need my to. God. Well, you don't opposed, need to. Right? Well, uh, it's oh, yeah. a post, but but PCs always win ties. We win ties. I thought that Yay. was the reroll. I just assumed. I no, 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 that was Jordan. Why wouldn't that be the same result? <laughs> yeah. So, so go go. People are diving out of the way, and now they're starting to run, and they're starting to run past the individual you're trying to get, and they like trip him up, and he kind of tumbles. And you bring the grab vehicle up, and you're you're mere like you're you're maybe two meters away from him at this point. Um, and so before we see exactly what happens there when you come face to face with him, uh, I want to I want to jump over to Fortune and Doctor Fisher. So Fortune and Doctor Fisher, uh, you hear clanking of boots on the ramp leading up, and these three individuals they come up with their laser rifles trained, and you know obviously they scream they're like. Put your weapons down. Um, 
would I argue that I had some time to do something before this happened? Yeah, you probably had a moment to do something. Okay, I would like to call Chan down to the the bay area. Where okay, we are. sure. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he probably you know at it, he's not unaware of the things that happen. He has communicator, <laughs> so he probably like leaps over the uh, the railing and like drops to the ground as they're running up the ramp and he walking up behind you. Okay, I'd tell Chan. I said, do not take your eyes off these guys. If they move, put them back on the ground. Yeah, he just nods. And okay. stares at them intently. Then I would I would be more than willing to go ahead and put my rifle down. Yeah, Dr. Fisher, do you also, you know, drop your rifle? Yeah, I have what is it, three laser rifles pointed at me. I'm yeah. definitely putting it down. Yeah, so uh they the the one in the lead, he goes, You two standing over there, and he like points to one of the containers for you to like go collect around. I casually walk over to one. Yeah, and the other guy, he he kind of like he like looks at Chan, um, and Chan is staring directly at these guys, and he looks at Chan and he's like, "You two over there." I'm um, sir. I, I'm sorry. He's he's a little special. Um, so it, if you could just work with me here, like you can see, he doesn't have any weapons. He he's just it it he, it's hard to get him to do anything. Sometimes we just keep him along because. Uh, you gotta be nice to him, right? He, yeah, he was shot in the head once. I mean, you could see the scar over there. It's, it's not pretty. <laughs> Do you want to roll a persuasion with charisma check for me? Absolutely. I'm gonna need. I'm gonna need a pretty good roll on this one. I would say. I, I would say like a nine or higher. Yeah, if you want to roll a persuasion charisma, Doctor Fisher, and get a nine or higher, fortune, and I'm gonna drink a plus one. Hey, you get an additional plus one. Fortune. Ah, shit. Yeah, so they look at Dr. Fisher and they kind of like nod, but then you say something about like, oh, he's a little special. And they like look at him and he's just like, looks completely normal, right? And they're like, no, over there. You, on the ground. That way. All right, Chan, just, just do what they say, but like, same thing I said before, just you can do it from a little farther away, right? Yeah, and so he, he was, like, crouching down, right? And so he stands up, and just like an owl, his head just follows, looks at the two individuals as he walks over and stands next to you. Um, and uh, one, of, one of the guards trains his weapon kind of in your direction, make sure everything's secure. And the other one is going around, he's, like, checking the pulse of the, the two dead ones. And you see him, like, when he looks at the two dead ones, he looks up and he shakes his head, and he looks up and he shakes his head at the two. Um... And then they go to, like, the cyborg ones and probably, like, picks up his arm and, like, drops it down. You hear a clunk of, like, heavy metal. Um, and he just, like, whistles. He's just, like, Whew. right? Um, the other one is, uh, he gets the, he, he get the other two that are, like, lying on the ground with their arms outstretched. Um, he comes over and he grabs one of their hands and pulls it behind their back and he starts to cuff them, right? Uh, probably with, like, these, you know, these linked cuffs. Um, and then he comes walking over to you and he says, all right, listen, you're not under arrest, but we need to secure the scene here. I would like you all to turn around and face the, face the crate. Why would we do that? Because currently the scene is not secure and we need to figure out what happened. As I said, you're not under arrest, simply detaining you for your safety and mine. Well, where are those guys going? They're still lying on the ground. He said. Okay. Yeah, he, he goes, no, for their safety as well. Okay. Um, can I tr try with uh, my... Obviously, I've read multiple law books to persuade them for, like, those annoying... Uh, and cop stop videos that sure <laughs> the law is actually this and I'm sure you wanna you wanna <laughs> roll you wanna roll a bureaucracy roll with intelligence please okay <laughs> I have faith. I believe <laughs> in one minute you got one minute for free roll free roll yeah. really <laughs> four fifty nine.
No, stop lagging! Stop lagging! Uh, wow, that that was literally two ones. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll let it side because you said you were rerolling before the hour changed. <laughs> so so yeah. So what what kind of bureaucratical bullshit do you spew to you know get get them from detaining the three of you? Um. Yeah, it's clearly under what grounds are we actually being detained as you can clearly see that uh, they entered onto our ship and we were merely uh, enforcing our right to defend our lives and property therefore we have done no wrongdoing whatsoever and therefore you have no jurisdiction within the ship as it is currently under uh, the ownership of section 42b of the spaceship uh, personal docket code. Sure, yeah, and and he kind of looks at you and he argues with you for a bit about like, yeah, regardless of you know what's going on, we still need to figure out what happened before, uh, you know, before we can be sure it's secure. Probably what ends up happening is like you offer that you guys go sit somewhere so that you're like less of a threat. You're not like imposing, standing up. You're not able to react. Um, and so he probably like brings you over to a bench maybe that's somewhere in the in the cargo bay and you all sit there on the on the bench but you are not detained um for the time being but the end the the one guard is still there and still has his weapon kind of you know in your direction just in case you decide to act up um yeah oscar i, think I also say uh it's okay now chan you can just sit quietly now <laughs> 